Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be in conversation with Kevin Flynn, the head of FCA here in India. Fiat Chrysler has been making waves with the launch of the Jeep Compass just under three years ago. It's already become a benchmark in the compact SUV market. And with an investment of about $280 million here in India, the car is manufactured here, exported to key markets, to key right-hand drive markets globally, and gives you a taste of really what they have in store when it comes to their plans. So Kevin, great to have you with us on the show. Thanks nice for joining you. us. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the invitation. Well, I'm excited, you know, especially on the back of yet, uh, you know, a new launch coming out from the Jeep Stable after the phenomenal success of what we've seen with the Compass. Yeah. Talk to us first about that story. Talk to us about how it came together, the kind of yeah. connect that you formed with consumers. You know, it's really something... I, look, it has been an, an amazing story, and uh, I think one that we're all very uh, we're proud of. I think we're allowed to be, um, but it, it, indeed, the whole concept of bringing Jeep to India yeah. was something that which really attracted me to to come to India and be part of the uh, whole program. How did you know that was that was going to be the one that would work here? Well, in all fairness, it was it was part of the conversations we had when I was talking to the company, and uh, the, the the whole idea of of coming to a market like this, which is undoubtedly the most complex automotive market in in, in the world, to bring a a brand which was over seventy year old, in you know for the first time officially into uh, Indian market, and then not only that, mm. but to then also become an exporter. Yes. So part of the responsibility of bringing uh, Jeep Compass into India was actually also that we would become a uh, exporter of the car and we took responsibility for all right-hand drive markets. So the very, very same car that mm. here we are in Jeep Worley yes. in, uh, in Mumbai, uh, one of our flagship uh, stores. We call them destination stores. Yes. And, um, uh, you know, the very same vehicles that you see here in the showroom are exactly the same cars that we're selling, right. for instance, in Tokyo or we're selling in Sydney, or we're selling sure. in London. Which is a fantastic achievement. I mean, the fact that you're, you know, you're also looking at India as an export hub for some of yeah, these major it's very, markets. Yeah, it's very important for us yeah. because, you know, it's, it's, it's great to have these ideas of, of, of bringing a brand to India. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, there's a lot of, let's be honest, if you look around the automotive landscape yeah. at the moment, there's a lot of new entrants and they've all got aspirations. Sure. But, you know, you have to have a business model that's going to stack up. Yes. You have to have one that is actually going to give us the kind of returns mm -hmm. that, that we want for our investment. Yeah. So um, there's four plants around the world making okay. uh, Jeep okay. Compass. We were the fourth to come on online. Sure. So lots of learnings from those yeah. initial uh, 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 setups and we've really benefited from that. So I remember when I first saw the Jeep on the road, right? And I think of this really nice cherry red color, which will close <laughs> to what we're going to see yeah, on the exactly. trailhawk later. Um, and it was very eye-catching. And, and that's something that I, I just want to touch upon. The fact that, you know, that marketing or that brand connect, it's rare to find you know, something that connects so well and so quickly. Was there a lot of thought behind that or was it was it a brand that you just brought in and you thought would seamlessly fit into the Indian market? No, I don't think it was seamless. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, we did put a lot of a lot of thought because yeah. obviously one of the other things that was facing us and, and one of, we, we weren't sure if it was a challenge or a benefit. Sure. And that's the fact that the, the name Jeep was used so generally yes, to true. describe yeah. an SUV. Yeah. And, and so our first strategy was talking about taking back our name. You know, it's our name and we're taking it back. Sure. And I think we've been able to do sure. that. Uh, sure. and, and therefore, I don't think there's any confusion anymore. You know, they, they, people see us as a brand. But the other thing that's been really amazing for me and, and exciting at the yeah. same time is the fact that when I look around the world um, and I look at, say, for instance, in the yeah. States and I see people living what we call the Jeep life, yeah. this real... <laughs> getting out, adventure, a little yeah. bit of off-road, and really living, you know, your, your car to the full. Right. And that sort of happens in Jeep Wrangler, sure. you know, and that epitomizes. Yeah. In India, that's happened in Compass. And, and the, the, the people buying uh, Jeep Compass are living the Jeep life to the full. Now, the car is terribly capable for right. it. Right. So that's the first thing. You know, to be a Jeep, yeah. it has to be able to do the things you expect sure. Sure. of uh, all of our Jeeps mm. in, in the range. And, and of course, we have 
a number of models in the Compass range, which now stretches right up to the new Trailhawk. Right. Right. Um, and that has extreme 4x4 off off-road capability, plus now equipped with a nine-speed yeah. automatic transmission with diesel. So a broad, broad range. But people in all parts yeah. of the Compass uh, uh, spectrum are enjoying Jeep life. And I think that's something that, that has been number one invigorating for sure. us. Sure. And, and when we can, we go and spend time with them and, and we get as much from them as we've given them right. in terms of the brand. So it's a two-way street. So, you know, initially, of course, there was this huge uptick and you had this one product that you started off with, yes. uh, you know, over here under the brand. It's done very well for you. Yes, it uh, You know, talk to us a little bit about that. Recently, we have seen a slowdown in volumes. We yeah. are also seeing a slowdown overall in the industry. Yeah. Are you concerned, especially since till now it has been all about the one product? So I think it's, it's becoming quite a busy space. Yeah. I think that's uh, uh, fair to say. Mm. But what we're also um, seeing is the fact a, a big slowing of the market, right. no doubt about it. And it's not just in the SUV segment. We've seen a real slowing of the, sure, of, of the sure. market. But the expectations that we had of the SUV segment are not being realized right now. Okay. So when I, when I look at our performance in, uh, in the marketplace, from a point of our share, sure. we're doing great. Okay. We're OK. And, and we're in, we're in a, a band that we set ourselves. Sales. Um, so that's again okay. what I need is the segment to be bigger and, and all the forecasts and uh, you know and all the, the thinking yeah. was around a, a, a faster growing SUV yeah. segment that, yeah. than it is it's growing quicker be below sure. so that the okay. smaller SUV sure. which I suppose is also atypical of, of India with yes. this this sub four meter yeah. you know frenzy in, yeah. in, in in some ways which I think is I'm not quite sure it's so relevant really for India moving forwards, but sure. certainly it's still very much part of legislation and certainly very much part of uh, encouraging the, 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 the smaller car. So, look, we're, we're hopeful the segment's going to recover. Okay. I think it's going to. Okay. Uh, I don't think these things are long term. I think we've seen a slowing down in, uh, by consumer mm. spending in India across a number of uh, different uh, 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 segments. So it'll come back. And, and I think as we enrich our range and, and we make sure that we've got everything for or a car for everybody that's yeah. thinking Jeep uh, and, and then we'll be moving on to adding additional models sure. to the to the showroom as well which we're working hard on currently. So where does that put India in your overall scheme of things as a major market going forward if yeah. you're anticipating that kind of demand you're already becoming one of the major brands to reckon with here you know where does that really put uh, India in terms of growth targets going forward? I think uh, very, the very fact that so many car companies are coming in, sure. despite the fact that they can see as well as everybody else can see that the level of growth isn't really sure. where everybody expects it to be, there's still the huge expectation that that is, that is, is going to happen. Look, we, we've invested for many years in India. Sure. Um, we decided that bringing the Jeep brand was the right thing mm -hmm. because actually the, the appetite for SUVs is getting stronger and stronger. And let's be honest, an SUV is a, is, a, is a far more practical and a far more actually exciting sure. type of vehicle for today's living. Sure. Okay? Yeah. So I think Jeep fits very, very well. Mm. Uh, India being a, a very, very core market plus becoming an export hub. Right. So right. What, what we've done over the last two years is prove, yeah. Yeah. and let's be honest, it needed some proving. Yes. We proved that number one, we can make a world-class car. Yes. We don't make an Indian car. Mm. We make a world-class world car to world-class standards and we export to world-matured world, uh, markets. And I think the very fact that we're taking a premium car, shipping it to Tokyo yeah. Yeah. and selling it and it's fully accepted is a massive achievement, both not, not just for us, but actually from a point of view of Indian products being Absolutely. exported abroad. So this is a real make in India success, success yes. story. Now, having proved to our organization that we can do it mm. and they, they 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 you know they believed in us sure. but actually we still needed to prove and having done that and having built such a high quality yeah. vehicle the the uh, on-road quality is is first class the offline quality is first class so and we can measure against the other four plants so right. i'm very very <laughs> proud of, of 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 where we sit among uh, amongst that means now that we can go to the next one and the next one sure. and build mm. on a solid foundation right. But we had to put that foundation down first. Okay, so, you know, there's obviously an investment you made in doing that here in yes. India, and you're happy with that, as, yes. as you said, the organization is. Would you look at adding to that investment and building further capacity over here? Do you feel there is merit in doing that? We've, we've still got um, a, a good 
capacity available to us with our, with our current investment in our range and gown plant. Um, and uh, the answer to that is yes. You know, the answer is, is we're, not, we're not building to stand still, we're building to actually become even more relevant and become uh, uh, you know, more part of our, our global machine. I mean, Jeep is the largest manufacturer of SUVs in the world. Sure, sure. So, and for us now in India to be part of that strategy you know, no longer just on the fringe, now we're in the core. And this is, this is uh, you know, one of the first sort of global cars that's built in so many plants sure. uh, around, around the world. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm very, very, very pleased in what our team of engineers, uh, our, our uh, production line, our product planners, all, everybody's come together to, to really demonstrate what is possible. And I, it's a beautiful car, it's beautifully yeah. made. <laughs> and uh, you know covers covers a good chunk of the suv market amazing in fact talking about that we're also going to take a closer look at the trailhawk as well but after this very quick break back in a moment Welcome back. Uh, we're here in conversation with Kevin Flynn and understanding uh, you know, the business model behind the Jeep and now the Trailhawk. And the yeah. reason I uh, differentiate the two, because Kevin, you were telling me something very unique, that every model for you is a business plan in itself. And you know, this is now, you've brought in a variant or a fresh product into the market yeah. uh, after now a couple of years. You, know, you, just, you were focusing sure. on the Compass to begin with. It's a beautiful car, by Thank the way. You. <laughs> you know, the trail wall. Yes, yeah. so tell us a little bit about that. I know you're very excited. Yeah, we are. I mean, the, the key thing, obviously, the, 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 we talked about how our sort of business model works. And, and what's important for us is that we look at each individual model range that we will bring. And that then is its own business case. And uh, what we do is then look at uh, additional models. And when they're a sound business case, a sound business case, as we were talking about, sure. for, for export as well as for yeah. uh, local consumption, then we can push forward. So we're working on a number of other business cases at the moment, really progressing well. Okay. So we, we're uh, fully committed to be uh, uh, adding to Compass. Uh, uh, but at the moment, this is the, the next derivative, as we would say. Yes. Uh, for Compass. This probably really stretches it um, to uh, the, the top of its range. It's the first time we've got a, a, a diesel automatic. Okay. Now this is something that our customers have been asking and oh, really? asking for. Okay. So uh, I think there's going to be a, a lot of interest in this. And it's not just any automatic. We've bought a nine speed <laughs> automatic. Very, very clever and very complex okay. uh, gibbers. Also got a very low ratio. Okay. So you can take the vehicle off road in very, very extreme rock climbing conditions, as well as it riding beautifully in the city. Okay. So this really is a urban as well as a quite an extreme off road vehicle. What are some of the challenges that you find, Kevin, in terms of, uh, you know, actually manufacturing here? Like, what are some of the well, I, th this has been a revelation. Yeah. I mean, first of all, if you go to our plant in Ranjangown, and you're welcome to come, yeah. uh, but when you go in there and shut the door behind you, you could be anywhere in the world. It is absolutely first class, and, and the team that work there really, really do a fantastic job. The other thing that's been really interesting, particularly with this project, and we brought a number of new technologies in to work with suppliers in manufacturing the part, because one of the key things for any, any brand is to make sure that we can have high local content. Right. And currently we're up to about 75% on, uh, on Compass, which is pretty good. And we're working to get it uh, sure. even higher. But the key thing is, is, is the capability locally mm -hmm. to manufacture the quality and the intricacy of the sure. components. And I've got to say, India's come a long, long way. Okay. And uh, that is no challenge. It's now actually surprisingly becoming the norm. I mean, the key thing is you've got to have your quality control right. You've got to have your, your principles of what you want right and work with the right uh, partners. And we have put together a team of partners which are doing a fantastic job for us. When you're looking at the kind of growth that you'd see on the back of this, tell me your vision, uh, you know, for the brand here. Well, I... Well, I, I, I 
in some respects, I, I'm, you know, I, the, the planners, or, or yeah. the people that forecast the market in India, sure. they, you know, it's been going to be a five million market for a long, long time now. You know, at the end of each year, I say there's a little door on the chart and a little man comes out and he gets the chart and he pushes right. it pushes it down another year. But look, we are seeing growth year on year. This year has been a real anomaly. And I think it is an anomaly. And there's no way it, it, it will continue like that. But I mean, for me, it feels like we're in uh, automotive recession right now. But that, 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 that will come back and we believe it will, will, will come back. But the key thing is that we can actually perform in this segment and then perform in another segment and perform in another segment. And that will give us the growth that, that, sure. that we are looking for. So, um, yeah, now I've got every confidence that the, uh, the market is going to grow. When it's going to get to the big five million, uh, 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 your guess is as good as mine. And, and clearly, there's a big job to be done on infrastructure to even allow for that to happen in India. In terms of just where you're seeing the maximum growth, are there particular um, target groups, cities, geographies, uh, you know, segments that you're actually seeing the Jeep most popular in so far? Uh, you know, where do you expect the growth going forward? You know, what have you also, yeah, yeah, yeah. the feedback you've got from your distribution network, which also I know you've expanded and you continue to do. Yeah, yeah. Look, our dealers have yeah. done a great job for us. I mean, I don't know if you've just picked up, but we've just actually been nominated as, uh, well, the top automotive brand on trust. In, in India, I, which is phenomenal. Told, yes. All right. and, and second brand mm. overall, out of a thousand brands in India, sure. we have just been recognized the most trusted automotive and second most trusted brand. So, you know, a two year old, three year old brand in the country yeah. to get that, yeah. that, 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 that says an awful lot. Yeah. But also, we've got to look at the economies of what we're doing. And our network have done a great job. But we are limited right now in the amount of expansion that we make because. You know, we have Compass, of course, and of course yeah. we've got, uh, we've got yeah. a couple of CBU models, yeah. but they're very much limited to the, the 10, 11 top metro uh, markets. Sure. Uh, obviously, we're, sure. in, we're in one uh, uh, today. But as we add uh, products to the, yeah. the showroom, that's going to allow us to start going to other markets. Sure. And that will bring a better success also for Compass and the other models. So we can expand. But right at the moment, we're probably running at about where, where we can and where we should to give us the amount of, amount of coverage and, and, and making sure that our dealers have got a, also in an interim period the business model they need waiting for the next, uh, the next products to come. The Fiat brand, is it uh, done and gone now quietly for India? The customers, consumers, probably understand the challenge BS6 brings with it, to go from BS4 yeah. to BS6. Yeah. And to get uh, motor vehicles to meet those, uh, particularly on diesel, sure. to, to meet those um, uh, reductions in NOx and reductions in emissions, takes a lot of clever technology yeah. and a lot of investment. You know, you've seen a few announcements yeah. by some companies already saying, we're not gonna do diesel anymore and so forth. So look, we're in a, we're in a state of flux. And to be honest with you, I don't know I where it, exactly. I don't really okay. know where it's going to end up, because but we are ready. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but wouldn't this impact demand to some extent, even in the near term? Yeah, it's going to be an interesting thing, isn't it? Because I think, it, we, again, yeah. is it, are the consumers going to be rushing to get a BS4 car yeah. because it's going to be cheaper? Or are they actually want to wait for BS6. So and that's in this case, you have the edge. Yeah, in this case yeah. on, on, on Trailhawk, it's BS6. We, we haven't even come here at all with BS4. Sure. India has always been perceived to be a market for uh, the more sort of affordable luxury or the, the consumer that's looking for something that's, uh, you know, in a more reasonable budget. Um, I mean, of course, we have the ultra luxury, but it's a smaller market. Would you aim to be an overall player here? Or would you be happy with your offerings that are perhaps on the higher end of the you so know, let's take Compass. Yes. All right, so Compass, we're, we're in, in the 15 lakh, still yeah. got cars in the 15 lakh, and, and, uh, and now we're going up to 26 lakhs. Okay? Yeah. So um, we're in that band, yeah. and we're going to bring a vehicle above that will obviously have some overlap, and we'll have a vehicle below, and that will have some, uh, some overlap. So we will, we will cover, you uh, will cover, we will cover yeah. a, 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 yeah. a, a broader uh, pricing segment and range. But if you go too far down, mm. it's so competitive that it's not and actually yeah, sure. maintaining sure. a life cycle becomes yeah. so challenging sure. here okay. and so then we come back to that original mm. or one of the earlier points you made which is around this what we talked about was around this business model stacking yeah. up you know you have to get a whole life cycle 
out of a, a vehicle. We can't, we can't bring a car for two years yeah. and then move on. Yeah. You know, it needs to last a life cycle. So I think we have to just make sure that we're picking the business models that are going to give our dealers the uh, viability and the sustenance they need and give us an opportunity to make sure we're making margin out of that vehicle and also an opportunity to export that vehicle. Fantastic. It obviously looks like you have a long-term plan here, uh, which is uh, great to see. Kevin, one more question just on, uh, since we touched upon BSX, that's also touched upon all the developments happening on the uh, electric side. Yeah. Is that something that's still fairly in the distance or do you see that also impacting the industry sooner rather than later? Look, I mean, at the moment, we're just about, we still just haven't got BSX. Yeah. Okay? So, let, let, so, you know, there's got to be a roadmap of where we go. And I think, uh, undoubtedly, electrification is going to be big part of our industry sure. but at the end of the day the market has to be ready yeah. there's yeah. little point having an electric vehicle if actually it's sure. it's your ability to use it yeah. is very limited yeah. so i think what we will do mm. is is uh, we will monitor how the progress in india goes okay and it's one thing having legislation but it's sure. another thing having the capability to use it right. And I think we need to see that evolving and then understand how we can react to it. Okay. But I, I, without any shadow of a doubt, when you think of the characteristics mm. of electric power, high torque, um, you know, obviously uh, emission free yeah. and so forth. So it has huge appeal. Sure. But look, the environment and the, the operating environment, should I say, needs to be ready. OK, how has your experience been in India? Look, four and a half years now, so I'm no newbie anymore. Uh, no, it's been amazing. And I think the, um, the project itself of, uh, of, of creating uh, the Jeep brand here, um, setting up, manufacturing, exporting, and, and really getting the, the brand to, to where it is, and then watching our customers just loving what Jeep brings them. It's, I think it's, um, yeah, my career has been, been quite long now um, and it's the culmination of, uh, of, of many years in, in, uh, in many different experiences come together in one. So, no, I've loved every minute of it. It's, uh, it's been fantastic. Well, we hope to see you many times thanks so in the much. future. And thanks so much for, no, it's my uh, pleasure. Thanks you know, for sharing all of us. that with us today. Thank you. Thank you for watching. That's all from us on the show.